The radical left is determined to ruin everything in America. That's what they're doing. Woke politics takes the life and joy out of everything. Wokeism makes you lose, ruins your mind, and ruins you as a person. You become warped, you become demented. We'll obviously have a bunch more from the president later on in the show, break down some of the highlights, but I did want to hit that right off the top as we go into this week in wokeism and all this, and because I was thinking about what he was saying there. I love the way he put it. I think it's important you and I understand something. When this stuff gets passed on to kids, we'll, we'll focus on kids here in a minute, but when we teach kids things like you're evil if you're white, you're oppressed if you're black, America is an evil racist place, America slaughtered the Native Americans, America is terrible, you stink, everything stinks, society stinks, we're ultimately creating a society of miserable people miserable people and how grossly unfair is that to the next generation who's learning how to be miserable i mean you and i can play all these college videos of some college kids saying something stupid and i've done it and we've done it and we all laugh but you know what's really sad you look at that idiot in the college video and you should actually feel bad for him because that person not only has been taught to hate himself his country and everything else that person very likely, unless there's some kind of miracle transition, that person will very likely be miserable for the rest of their lives. There is no happiness there. There's no joy there. All these people are miserable. So now as we go into this week in wokeism, how can you get miserable, right? How can, how can these college kids be so miserable? How do we have so many young adults out there miserable, hating America, everything sucks? Well, I mean... Let's go to Kentucky. We have a school district. I'm not, not making this up. In Kentucky, we have a school district planning a year-long anti-racist mathematics training program for the teachers. The goal of this program is to, quote, eliminate curricular violence and innovate mathematics education through anti-bias, anti-racist, racially equitable practices. I know what you're saying. Well, Jesse, that, uh, what does that mean? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, uh, how can that apply to math? I don't know. But I've warned you about that before, and you have, to, you have to be aware of this, all right? They don't look at the world. The communists don't look at the world the way you or I look at the world. What does that mean? Well, right now, you're looking around the country, and we'll go into some more wokeism stuff here in a minute, but you're looking around at all this insanity, and you're horrified, right? How many times do you say to your wife, say to your husband, can you believe this? Are we living on an alternate planet? You're just horrified right now, right? Me too. Same thing. I have to keep reminding myself this, so I'll keep reminding you this. The communists, the American communists, the cultural Marxists who have taken over every pillar in this society, they don't look at America right now and think to themselves, nice, we did it. They don't think that way. They don't look at the world that way. They're looking at America right now and saying to themselves, oh man, we haven't completely ruined that. How do we take over there? Oh, we have to ruin that. What I'm saying to you is they're not even close to done. They're not going to get to a stopping point any minute now where they look around and say, that's all, we have enough. They don't think in those terms. How can they get into math? I mean, how can you make math? something like this. I don't know. You don't know because you would never think of it, but they do. Five years from now, shoot, five minutes from now, they'll have infected and infested something I didn't see coming, you didn't see coming, and we'll keep sitting back and saying to ourselves, what? How, how does that work? Until we realize they're never, ever, ever going to stop. How many Americans out there, how many Americans think America sucks? Do we want to have that talk? Do we want to ask that question? I think we should, because remember, we have a patriotism problem above all. If we have a country where half the population hates it, I mean, even, look, all right, let's be nice. Even if it's not half, 30, 40 percent, I think we could probably be safe on that, right? 30, 40 percent of the country hates the country. 
how do you continue? What in the world makes you expect you're going to continue? And I'll tell you, I'm just pointing out the Olympic ratings here. Speaking of continuing, Olympic ratings, they're in the toilet. 33-year low, uh, men's basketball teams losing to France. The women's team, of course, lost, or women's soccer team, of course, lost to Sweden. That was hilarious. So all that stuff aside, but speaking of continuing, if people aren't even watching the Olympics anymore, one, that's good. I support you. If you want to go woke, that's fine. Stop watching. But two, it does say something on a macro level that's sad for our country, doesn't it? We are separating. We are separating. Everybody may not be out there vocally saying it on TV or radio or Twitter or Facebook or wherever you watch and distribute your news, but the truth of the matter is, if America is going to the Olympic Games and Americans are changing the channel, and American athletes are kneeling for the flag. The truth is, this separation I've warned you about, it's already happening. And I hope you know, when I talk about a national divorce, I I don't say that from a place where I'm happy about it. But I do believe we should get one, and I believe it is inevitable, actually. You can't have a nation where people don't share common values. Then it's not a nation anymore. I don't want to live in a country where my eight-year-old is taught about uh, transgenderism. I don't want to live in a place where his algebra class teaches him math is racist. I don't want him to think about politics when he goes to a baseball game. I just want to live in a normal country. You just want to live in a normal country. And if they won't allow us to do that, I fear for the future. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.